again. another wig review and unboxing so let's get right into it today we are working with curly me hair and i've been waiting to work with this company for such a long time like y'all i'm so excited about this one because i've been seeing their wigs all over social media tiktok youtube and they just look so good every time and i just know this is a quality company so definitely excited about this collab and this is the goodies it came with some wig caps an edge brush and the super cute curly me melting band and it also came with like this little pamphlet for how to wear your wig how to take care of your hair and these super cute lashes as well, which are actually really freaking cute. I will be wearing those. And this is the unit, y'all. Um, this unit right here is just so bomb. It's plucked so freaking good. Look at it in the bag. Even through the bag, you could just tell. Like, look at this unit. Look at the plucking. So freaking bomb. And this is their pre-bleach wear and go glueless afro kinky curly pre-cut HD lace wig. So this is some HD lace, y'all. Super good quality lace. Like, of course, curly me is giving me HD lace. Like, that's just what I expect from them. And look at the hairline plucked to perfection, y'all. Like, they plucked this so freaking good. It's actually crazy how good that looks. And they cut the lace actually really, really good. And the knots, what knots? Like, this actually just looks so freaking good. Like, this is literally minim minimal work. And again, I got this unit in 20 inches, and this is the Afro Curly Texture. All right, y'all, so I got the unit right here. And excuse me, I look so busted right now. Uh, I did go to the gym earlier. I was like, let me just throw on this wig real quick. And like I showed y'all in the previous clips in the unboxing, this wig did come pre-cut, pre-plucked, and pre-bleached. I did go and bleach it a little bit more off camera just to my liking, but you don't have to bleach it at all because the bleaching job was, it was okay. So you could just put it on out the box because the plucking, the plucking on this is immaculate. And the way they cut the lace is also really, really good. So let's just throw this on and just see what it's giving at a first glance. I'm going to tighten this band back here and throw this on my head. Now, even though I did bleach the knots a little bit more to my liking, I didn't wash the full wig or anything. I just did the knots only. All right. And the lace is going to need some makeup on it because it's looking, it's looking white. It's not even looking a little white. It's looking actually white. So I think what I'm going to do first is put some makeup on this lace. But one thing I can say is once I tighten the band, I do like, I like that it's very snug on my head. Like once I tighten the band, it fits very snug on my head. And sometimes with glueless wigs and I cannot stand it, the lace will be like rolling up in the front or like rolling forward and like lifting up and it won't really be like laying down, right? So you can't really wear it glueless. But with this one, all I did was tighten the band and the lace is like snug to my head. Like it's not lifting up. I do love that. So I'm gonna put some makeup on this BRB. All right, I put makeup on the lace and that did help, but I think I need a little bit more. I don't know why wigs do that. Like from this angle, it'll be looking like it's blending really good, right? Like that looks so good. And then when I do like this, oh, hell no. it's giving wig. So, but I can just tell that this is gonna look so freaking cute. And I also do think that the lace on this wig is HD lace because it just seems to be very thin. And to confirm, yes, this is HD lace. I had to go look at the description and see, but it actually is HD lace. Um, I just didn't read the description before filming, but I could definitely tell even before reading the description that it's HD lace because the quality was just so good. Well, that'll do for now. Okay, y'all, actually, when I look at the description for this wig, it does say that it is pre-bleached and pre-plucked. Oh, never mind. I don't know where I was going with that. I read this wrong and I thought this said that it was just pre-cut and pre-plucked, but it also says pre-bleached and I was going to say it's not pre-bleached, but it supposed to be is. So anyways, makeup's on the lace and I don't know why it does that little line right there, but yeah. So I can tell that the texture of this hair is going to be really freaking pretty once I wet this down really good. 
Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put this into two sections and wet the hair really good, detangle it, and put a little bit of product in it. And we're gonna see literally what this wig is giving. I'm not gonna do no baby hairs because I just wanna wear it the way it came with the hairline. It looks really good already. So I don't think we need to tweak that or anything. We're just gonna wet this hair down and define these curls and maybe trim it a little bit. Actually just gonna flatten this out a little bit right here. Not too much and push this back. Okay. y'all i just love like wet curly hair and how it just looks this is just so freaking pretty to me and this is just gonna dry even like it's gonna dry pretty too like honestly i could walk out the house like this and just feel like so pretty or like go to the pool with my hair wet like this and like i just love this and honestly come to think about it this is a this is a wig that i will wear swimming because of how pretty it looks when it's wet and then the fact that it fits so snug on my head i can jump into the water and my wig's not going to come off and if it does slide it back on because it's glueless like so bomb a little bit of this What I'm gonna do really quick is clean up this part and spray some um, root touch-up spray on it since it does look kind of like skimpy at some parts. And I think I got this just from my beauty supply down the street. Um, you can get this anywhere, Amazon. And I'm gonna spray a little bit where there's like kind of like a hole right here. Cause I might've over bleached it, but y'all know I like to over bleach my knots on purpose so that I could just fix it later so I'm actually going to go with a little bit more concealer because that's low-key a little too skinny for me I should use a bigger comb I feel like that looks a bit unnatural now so I'm gonna use some concealer and make it a little bit thicker and a little bit more we're 
realistic looking instead of so skinny. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit, if you will. Perfect. This hair is so freaking pretty, like. This just looks so pretty. I literally love it. I love this texture. Y'all know I love curly hair. I just love this. Like, so fire, so bomb, so freaking pretty. And boom, this is how the hair turned out once it was dry, y'all. And even in these clips, the hair was still a little bit damp and it was still dry and so full. And I'm just showing y'all the little comb test. No glue on this wig because this wig is glueless, okay? No plucking, no cutting. Literally, I was like, what? So freaking bomb, 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 bomb. And this is how the hair looks, y'all. I'm literally in love with the way this turned out. It just looks so natural and nice. And I just can't get over how good they plucked the freaking wig. Like, they plucked the wig really freaking good. And they actually bleached it good as well. Even though I did go in and bleach mine a little bit more. But honestly, you didn't have to do that. Because in those first few clips, now that I'm looking back at the wig, the wig was perfectly fine, y'all. It's bleached well. It's plucked well. The lace is cut for you. The hair is full. Like, just get into it. Look at these freaking clips. Like... The hair is speaking for its freaking self, y'all. Like, so full, fluffy, bouncy, natural. It's just, like, everything. So, thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down a pink and black heart for curly me hair. A pink and black heart if you made it this far in the video. And, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more content like this and more. Got a lot of content all the way from 2024. Make sure you comment. Any questions, comments, concerns. Let me know down in the comments and like this video and I'll see y'all my next one. I love y'all so, so much. Bye.